Hi, this is Ashton from Guild, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to build a parachute into your water rocket. Here's what we need. One square plastic sheet that is 60 by 60 centimeters. You can cut it out from garbage bags or plastic bags. One row of string, one row of tape to tape the strings onto the parachute. A measuring tape or ruler, scissors, and of course, your fully built water rocket. First, remove the cone from your water rocket. This is where you will store your parachute before it release. Take your plastic sheet and lay it out flat. Fold the plastic sheet twice in half to create a smaller square. Now, pinpoint the folded corner of the square that will be the center of your parachute. Fold your square in half but into a triangle with one side of the square matching the other side. Now, do the same thing and fold in half another two more times. Find the shortest edge just before the excess edges and cut a straight line from there. Cut the narrow tip of your parachute about a thumb's length. Unfold and ta-da! A full circular parachute. Next, you will need to cut out strings of exactly 40 cm in length. Experiment with different numbers of strings and see what works for you. Lay them out evenly in equal distances around the fully open parachute. Next, you can tape the strings onto the parachute. If you want a more solid grip, poke holes along the edges at equal spacing around the circle. And tie the string through each of the holes. Make sure your knot is secure. There are two ways to attach the parachute to the bottle. For the first method, you can gather all the ends of the string and tie a knot as close to the ends as possible. Then, cut a 30cm long string and tie a knot in the middle. Take one rubber band and tie to the ends of the strings. Then, tie the other end of the rubber band to the knot of the 30cm long string. Now, Tape the two ends of the 30cm long string, one to the top of the rocket, the other to the cone that you removed earlier. The other way is less secure but simpler and could help the parachute release more easily. Simply tape the other end of each string to the base of your water rocket. Roll the parachute neatly and wind the string around it. Make sure they are not tangled on each other. Place the parachute into the cone and place the cone onto the water rocket. The cone should sit on top of the rocket but should not be attached too tightly. You want it to come off easily when the rocket is in the air. But if your cone looks like this and cannot even stay in place, you need to modify it. Cut four plastic strips and tape them to the side of the cone. This way, the cone will fall off and release the parachute once the rocket reaches the highest point. Ta-da! The cone stays in place. Now we are ready to launch. Let's go!